Hi everyone. Today we're going to make more cook once, eat twice meals. These are meals that you can partially prepare once and then use in two completely different meals. Today I'm making two meals using ground beef. I'll use half of it to make a family favorite, spaghetti with meat sauce. And then I'm going to do a new spin on Taco Tuesday and do a Mexican casserole using the other half of the ground beef. This helps save time at the grocery store and time in the kitchen. We're going to start with two pounds of ground beef. We're going to also have chopped two medium onions, two bell peppers, and eight cloves of garlic. So we're going to start by browning our ground beef over medium high heat. And always you want to remember, once handling raw meat, you need to wash your hands before we move to the next step. You can buy beef in varying fat contents. If it so happens that a higher fat content beef is on sale, a way to lower the fat content is to brown it, drain the grease off of it, and rinse it. You could easily do this ahead of time and then freeze it in freezer bags or put it in the refrigerator for your next meals. We're going to boil our whole wheat noodles and then we're also going to bake some spaghetti squash to serve our spaghetti with. Spaghetti squash, you want to cook at 400 degrees for 40 minutes. You're going to slice your spaghetti squash in half lengthwise, sprinkle salt and pepper, and a little bit of olive oil, canola oil, or vegetable oil on it. Our whole wheat noodles will be cooked according to the package directions. While our ground beef is draining, we're going to add one tablespoon of oil and then our garlic, bell pepper, and onions. Oh, this smells really great. So we're going to saute until tender. We're going to add the ground beef back. We're going to mix everything up. We're going to divide this pan in half and put one half in our large stock pot for our spaghetti sauce and leave the other half in this pot for our Mexican casserole. For our spaghetti sauce, we're going to put in one medium carrot diced and one small to medium zucchini diced. We're all about sneaking vegetables today in your kiddos' diets. And you want to saute this until both the carrot and the zucchini are tender. We're going to add one teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of dried oregano, and two teaspoons of dried basil. Next, we will add 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, one six ounce can of tomato paste, and one 16 ounce can of tomato sauce. We're going to mix this all together and then cover and simmer for one hour on low heat. While our spaghetti sauce is simmering, we're going to take our spaghetti squash out of the oven. When you flip it over, this is what it looks like. In order to make it like spaghetti, we're going to take a fork and we're just going to shred it. Looks exactly like spaghetti noodles. While our spaghetti meal is cooking, we can begin prepping the second meal, which is a Mexican casserole. And we're going to serve it with some whole wheat corn chips. You can even, if you don't have corn chips, you can use tortillas and roll it up and make like burritos or even tacos. All right, we're going to add our two cups of salsa to our ground beef mixture, and we're going to simmer for about 20 minutes or until all the liquid is absorbed. We're going to add our refried beans to the mixture since our liquid has absorbed and we're going to mix all this together. We're going to spray our baking dish with nonstick spray. All right, we're going to add our mixture to the casserole dish. And we're just going to kind of spread it around. 
We would cover this with some saran wrap or foil and put it in the refrigerator for tomorrow night. All right, we've taken our casserole out of the refrigerator. We're gonna add our toppings and then bake it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. So first we're gonna do the sour cream. And the sour cream we're using is reduced fat sour cream. We're gonna kind of, like we're frosting a cake, just kind of spread the sour cream out. Next, we're gonna add our black olives. Next, we'll add our chopped tomato. Just kind of the same way, sprinkling it on top. And this is pretty already. For a little extra kick, if your family likes hot stuff, you could definitely add about two tablespoons of chopped jalapenos to it. We'll add our green onions. And I'm gonna do half the green onions and then do our cheese. And then I'll take the remaining little bit of our green onions and just kind of sprinkle them on top. We're gonna pop this in the oven and bake for 30 minutes. We've cooked once and now we will eat twice. Last night we had our spaghetti and meat sauce. We've served it over pasta, or if you want to do more vegetables in your diet, you can serve it over spaghetti squash. Some of us like pasta, some of us like spaghetti squash, and we've served it with fresh fruit. Tonight's meal is the Mexican casserole served with some wheat tortilla chips and a sliced apple. So come on, let's build a healthy meal.